Hey there guys, let's continue! Tada! Okay, so in the previous episode, if you remember we found these obsidian greaves, which goes well with our obsidian braces, part of a set. It was pretty awesome. And I still haven't really tidied up my inventory, so I apologize for that. I'm gonna try to get to that at some point. But for now it's not it's not too much of a problem. I'll find space to put stuff in. And uh yeah, in this episode we're gonna be heading to the Fayum. As I said before you can either go through the Fayum passage in Giza or you can go through this gate. We're choosing the gate because because uh, I just want to show you know how it's like to just go this way. All right, so this desert waste area. This sort of will go around like it goes around in like a big areas. And notice here, this is pretty much like the first time we're meeting these scorpos, which are like the scorpion men, I guess, or something like that. And scorpos, they they're probably among the toughest monsters in Act Two. But uh, they're nowhere near the tough, toughest monsters if you take into account like every monster in the game. So that just gives you a bit of a perspective of how hard the monsters are in Act 3 and Act 4. And we're going to be meeting in a second some slightly stronger Scorpos. This is uh, or the ordinary one so far. And we've got the battle marker shrine here which is very helpful. If you notice these Scorpos, they they do have quite a fair bit of health, so they take quite a few hits to go down. And here you see the, the slightly darker ones. They're the... Uh, also notice they keep using the tail attack. Now these slightly darker ones, Scorpus Manslayers, they are tougher and they could be dangerous if your character isn't so good on... you know, doesn't have that much health for you, like a mage or something. But uh, the tail attack, the reason it's dangerous is because it uh, does some health reduction if I'm not mistaken. So you need vitality resistance against that. So if you have vitality resistance it's not gonna reduce as much health because health reduction works by percentage basis. So it doesn't matter whether you've got 500 health or 2000 it's gonna always take a fixed percentage. Okay so we've got a relic here. But gladly though the Scorpus monster heroes aren't that tough at all. I think there's like something like at least two or three of them in the game could be more and uh, they all were just a little bit stronger than the regular ones they're not they didn't really put up much of a fight every time I remember fighting them although it would have been nice I think if they ha their monster heroes were tougher because usually the the tough monsters the monsters which are already tough they tend to have tough monster heroes like the Tigerman certainly come to mind and uh, many of the Act 4 monsters. So uh, I think it would be nice if if the Scorpos had stronger heroes. Okay, so we're in this like, a little crypt here. It looks like a cave from the outside, but here it's a crypt. Notice how the Frostbite Shrine is slowing down these scarabs so much that they can't even make one movement. We managed to hit them 10 times before they even jump up. We've been picking up quite a lot of Relics and monster champs, if you noticed. Uh, what have we got here? Alright, uh, so many sepulchres. A frostbite shrine effect is getting wasted. Alright, just traps and just keep exploring this. Probably gonna fast forward through this actually because there isn't much in this crypt. Come on. Come on, come on. quite a number of trapped sepulchres in here yeah two I think so what did we find? Seth's betrayal keep finding it quite a lot well let's keep going just gonna keep speeding up through this notice with these guys as usual they got this earth enchantment so I spell broke them the spell broken guardians yeah I guess spell breaker is not so bad after all I usually tend to avoid this skill like a plague, not like the plague skill, I mean, like a plague as in, as in a saying, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah, I suppose with this kind of skill you just need to know uh, the monsters well, because if you're like first time through the game, you don't know which kind of monsters have enchantments and stuff. But uh, once you've played the game quite a bit, then you get become familiar which monsters put what enchantment on, and so then the spellbreaker skill becomes more useful. There's quite a lot of quite a lot of trapped sepulchres in that room. Anyways, let's get out. So here we're going to be meeting some dune raiders. There's quite a variety of monsters actually along this path to the Fayum. Like we fought Scorpus there, then dune raiders here, and then later there will be some jackalmen and who else are the scarab beetles I think. Alright, we've been fighting quite a bit of relics, if you noticed. And I have been noticing it as I was playing. You will see there'll be quite quite a lot. They just keep dropping like look at that, and there's another one. A jet of horrors. I think what what was happening is that during this session when I was playing the the seed for the relics and charms must have been really high. That's why they kept dropping so much in such huge amounts. That's the thing, that's why it's good when if you got a really bad seed, if stuff good stuff isn't dropping, then uh, you should just like you know, exit the game and then start again and it always refreshes a new seed every time every time you start up a game so we appear to be done with the dune raiders so we go through here Sobek Plateau I assume this is probably the place where, where they, they've been worshipping Sobek okay rigid carapace I think that's the one we can complete the charm now yep there we go. Look at that awesome completion bonus. We've got 20 pierce resistance and another 16 as a completion. That's 36 pierce resistance. I can't wait to put that on the shield. Of course, we can't put it on the shield we've got now because it's an epic and epics, they cannot be equipped as relics. But if we ever use one of the green shields, one of the greens, then that will be a very nice relic to put on. There's another relic. Zeus of Thunderbolt. But yeah, I apologize actually that this episode took a bit of a while uh, since the last episode I made. I was a little bit busy. And I ha have gotten a chance to play a bit of Grim Dawn as well. Not that, not a whole lot, but just a bit so far. And it's pretty awesome. It's actually sort of... A, it's similar to Titan Quest actually in terms of in gameplay. But with some new stuff, obviously, and a completely different setting. Like a lot darker and more atmospheric. Alright, so if you notice, we've stumbled upon an encampment of jackalmen. And there's like six mages in here. That is ridiculous. What are they doing? Well, they got some kind of like like a club here or something. You don't usually see that many mages in one spot. And then there's just three random guys just chilling out here by the cliffs. This is quite a big open area, actually. And, uh... It can be, like I said before, a bit annoying to explore these areas because they're just very, really wide open spaces and they're mostly deserts, so there isn't a whole lot of features around here. Actually, I remember actually on Titan Quest forums there was like a poll one time asking like, what's your favorite act, what's your least favorite act, and most people seem to like acts 1 and 3 more than act 2. I remember that. Act 2 is not bad though, I think it's, it's quite nice though, it captures like the essence of ancient Egypt pretty well. It's just, I think these kind of really huge open open space areas that kind of bring it down a bit. So yeah, there hasn't been actually that much happening in this episode so far. And this, is, this episode is pretty much just a road um, in the Fayum direction, towards Fayum. So we're just pretty much just clearing out monsters and nothing special, no bosses, no side quests. It's like one of those exploration areas. I don't know if you've been counting, but we have found quite a huge number of relics and monster charms in this episode. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I will tell you that by the time I've been already getting to these stages of, of this uh, video, I was already getting fed up of picking up all these relics and charms and combining them. Another group of mages. Seriously, why did they do that? You guys can't 
seriously have a proper battle strategy with just five mages standing in a circle. It's like, I'll just plow through you like this. You need to have some bigger guys, berserkers protecting you. Yep, jackalmen obviously aren't sk skilled combatants, they're just not really the tacticians of, of a battle. They're probably some kind of... Ah, another jet of horse. I actually forgot to combine it before. Here we go, that and that. Completed charm. And we got plus 9% extra armor protection as a completion bonus. So it's not too bad, should put it on one of the armors. I still got this armor actually. Here. Yeah, not sure yet. We actually don't need that much armor protection right now. I suppose this is something, this is a decision I'll make later once there's a need for it. Right now we're doing fine. I suppose if in these kind of stages of the game, the defensive wise we're doing fine, it's just there's always there's mostly a need for offensive side of things. More damage, more offensive ability, that sort of stuff. So that instead of instead of doing like say killing monsters in three or four hits, you'll kill them in one or two hits. But once you notice you start dying then it's a sign that you need to really be concentrating more on your defensive stuff. So that means resistances, armor, defensive ability, this sort of stuff basically. Right, how much more is there? Got quite a lot. I'm just trying to explore every little corner around here. Don't want to leave anything behind really. And I know it's not particularly interesting for for a let's play video but hence why I'm speeding up and here's another monster charm how many disease plumages have we found already alright so there's a little cave here and it's pretty featureless there's not much actually here so I'm literally gonna just skip through the parts here and just just only show like some of the battles it's quite quite a number of scorpos here seem to attack in groups as you notice they they're not too bad still don't take caution with them because they are probably the toughest monsters of act 2 especially when they have their manslayers present well alright so we've explored this whole cave as you see it was pretty small from the map there and now we're just gonna carry on along the way and there's another rebirth fountain there we're Almost at Fayum, actually. Did we really kill these guys? Damn. It's like the death has been there. Death itself. Alright. Well, here we are. Rebirth Fountain. So we'll stop around here. And Fayum is literally just around the corner. So we're gonna explore Fayum in the next episode. I'll see you guys later.